All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? So first and foremost, let me just go ahead and say this. J. Cole's KOD album is phenomenal. And I'm going to be honest with you. There needs to be a visual with every song off the project. Since J. Cole is not doing interviews, and I'm upset about that. I'm very upset about that. I believe he owes the culture an interview or two. I don't think J. Cole's legendary enough to not do media at all. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love Cole, but... I don't think he's legendary enough to just say I'm not doing any media to give us some sort of explanation where he's at with the music and, and his creative process. And I get it. You're, you're dropping visuals. He's already dropped, what, two visuals off the project. I, I think Cole needs to do interviews. So we're left to speculate, assume, make, a, make assumptions of what we believe this album is about song for song because there's so many different meanings in this project. There's so many different references. It's like some songs have like five to six different references per song. So every time I listen to this project, literally, there's a new reference I get in it. And that's beautiful, but at the same time, I would have liked for Cole to give me some sort of clarity or direction himself on just the project. Is it separated in songs? Is it separated in uh, two to three song swing sequences? It's just a lot going on. And, and in one record, Records called ATM that J. Cole has dropped a visual for. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm convinced, and there's no reporting behind this. There's no source behind this. I don't have one in J. Cole's camp. I can't get in contact with anybody in J. Cole's camp. I don't got them kind of relationships yet. But in my honest opinion, I believe J. Cole took a shot at the Migos. Right? Call me crazy. Say I'm reaching. I'm fine with all that. But I'm still rolling with my thought process. Again, this album is, a lot of this album is so focused on taking what's popping in rap right now and, and kind of flipping it, right? I think in one of the records he said, this is what you call a flip, right? He's taking records and, and rap flows of popping music and popping artists right now and flipping it and, and, and using his lyrics, his content, but showing you guys, if you keep this type of behavior up, the money's going to run out, the fame's going to run out. And do you have music as the sole basis of your brand? Do you have classic records where your brand live post this little four to five year window? Are you going to end up on Love and Hip Hop? Again, when I'm listening to this ATM record, the chorus of it really struck me because I'm a down south nigga, so I listen to a lot of down south music. I'm listening to the chorus I'm hearing. Count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up. Count it up. I'm like, damn, this sound familiar. I know Cole trolling in the way on the chorus, and I'm like, damn, this sound familiar. And I'm thinking, count it up, count it up, count it up. And I'm like, damn, I just can't put a finger on what this reminds me of. Count it up, count it up. So I'm thinking, count it up. Then I'm thinking about the Migos record. I'm like, dang, okay, that's what I remember this from. Pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it, pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it. And I'm like, hmm. That's interesting because the soul basis on the record, if you listen, if you listen to the record and watch the video, right, there are a lot of Migo references and I'm just, it, it could be a lot of rappers that they're talking about. I'm admitting that, but you know, J. Cole's walking around the video with tons of cash. He's at the casino. He's pretty much around a lot of chicks. He's inferring that money is the ruler of all evil. And at the end of the video, it's like the money killed him. Right, he was so money and greedy over money and, and, and power and stuff like that, it, it just destroyed him. And will we ever be able to prove that Cole was talking about the Migos? No. In my heart of hearts, being a consumer of music and really breaking down bar for bar, uh, this dude's lyrics, in my heart of hearts, I believe he took a shot at the Migos. I, and, and not necessarily the Migos personally, but at their rap style and what they're bringing to the culture. He'll never say this. Again, J. Cole doesn't do interviews. I don't like that. But that's where he's at with it. I believe in my heart of hearts, J. Cole took a shot at the Migos. You can't tell me that. Count it up. Count it up. Go play that. ATM is the record by Cole on a new album, KOD. And then go play. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. And then get into the verse. It's that high speed rap that the Migos have kind of mastered over the years. He, I mean, that that's listen to J. Cole. He's he's kind of took that flow. And I know no one was immune from J. Cole's wrath 
when he made his KOD album. I know he's just gonna pretty much vent in records everything that's upset him and frustrated him. But in my heart of hearts, I believe the Migos were somebody who got some smoke. I, I think J. Cole gave the Migos some smoke. What y'all think? Am I reaching here? I'm fine with reaching. Just talk to me in the comment box below. Listen to that chorus again. Count it up. Count it up. And then go listen to the Migos. She piped up. Hey, pipe it up. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Then listen to, to, to J. Cole's rap flow. And, and, and tell me it's not Migos. In the whole album, we know one of the general three focuses of the album is to talk about what's popping in rap right now and how it's not going to last. So I'm just saying, let's not act like it would be off base for J. Cole to take a shot at the Migos. The Migos are the pop, most popping rap group out. They're pretty much on, what, 35 to 45% of the radio urban, right? They're, like, probably damn near 45 to 55% of the club, right? So let's not act like it's off base for Cole to take a shot at the Migos. The problem is it's, it's only up for speculation because Cole ain't doing no media anytime soon, and we won't have anyone to clear it up by, or we won't have any way to clear it up unless we interview a producer. I ain't going through that. I want to hear it out of the horse's mouth. So, talk to me in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that great stuff. If you enjoyed this video, you want to know more about my thought process and see who the hell I'm dissing, I'm joking. Hit me on Twitter, Instagram, add as Mr. Telefero. I'm always on my platforms trying to DM as many people back as possible. It's getting kind of crazy in my DMs right now. So, thank y'all so much. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.